share my screen. OK, so now we are into the real time activate methodology phases, right? So before that, what we discussed earlier classes, so we can go through step by step. So I will take notepad here. Okay. So up to now we completed the types of projects. We discussed earlier. And. Project methodologies. Later, we discussed uh, different types of teams in an organization. Different teams in organization. And the fourth one, we discussed the system landscape. In this topic, even I explain how the real time moves from development to quality. And I will show uh, already I showed you. And uh, we are discussing. Activate methodology. So in that activate methodology already we discussed. The standard one. SAP provide whatever SAP provide that uh, standard activate methodology already we discussed. And today we discussed the. Real time activate methodology. Right. <coughs> so e topics uh, e program on discuss now only. Types of projects and project methodologies and different teams in organization and the system landscape and activate methodology. The standard one also we completed earlier and today we will discuss about real time activate methodology and before we are moving into this session. So generally, so I want to recap these all sessions at a time once again. So first we discussed about the types of projects, right? So in types of projects, we discussed the total types of projects in SAP S4 ANA. So this is not SAP ECC. Earlier already we discussed, right? And especially here the implementation project and sometimes we are called as a project or mini project. And the later one is migration project. And later one is. Testing project. So after that rollout. So we discussed that these are all projects, rollout project, support projects and upgrade project, conversion project, enhancement project. So these are all projects. The basic things already we completed, like uh, how these projects are going and what are the uh, out of which these projects, uh, what are the projects are included in implementation projects. And uh, even we are discussed briefly about enhancement project also. So in that enhancement project, we introduced this concept rise F. So out of implementation, we have two types of implementations like greenfield implementation, brownfield implementation. So greenfield implementation is nothing but newly we are implementing our SAP. Where it comes to brownfield, our customer wants to move SAP ECC to SAP S4 ANA. And the second one is sometimes in main project out of that main project, some of the scopes are extended. So at that time we are called as mini projects and these mini projects also we are discussed earlier. And the later one is migration project. This project is also part of implementation project and this is very, very important project in real time. Why? Because we can transfer the data from SAP ECC system to SAP S4 ANA system and as well as non SAP system to SAP system. So for this purpose, we discussed this one and that too. This is the part of implementation and generally in real time in implementation team itself. So we have one. Select this one. So we have one team. 
So generally we are called as data migration and MDG or MDM. So those teams handled this migration project activities. And later we explain the testing project. Testing project is nothing but this is also part of implementation project. In implementation project, we have one phase. So that phase simply we are called as test phase. So in that test phase, generally we have one different team in real time working. So that team handled by the uh, that activities and that too, this is not the separate project. This is also part of implementation project and that too here in this testing, basically unit testing, functional testing and integration testing and uh, the last one is user acceptance testing and sometimes regression testing. So those are all testings already we explained earlier. Later rollout project. So rollout project is, is uh, nothing but uh, this is the extension of implementation project. So generally in real time. So if you if we are consider one big client, first of all, we can implement our SAP as for uh, some of the countries generally in real time. We are called as one release. So at the time of one release, we are called as implementation project. The remaining releases like R2, R3, R4. So those releases we are called as rollout project. This is also a part of implementation project only. And finally, support project. So this is the different project. Whatever we discussed earlier, these are all projects are included in implementation only. These are all comes into implementation projects only. These are all not uh, different, different projects. But where it comes to support project, this is different. It means once we are implementing our SAP into our business place or uh, the client, so later the support project, the change management comes into picture and the support team comes into picture and they will handle the uh, day to day incidents and day to day errors, whatever uh, the users will get at the time of using of SAP. So we need to handle those incidents and uh, tickets. So generally in support project, we have different different types of uh, tickets also incidents also. So it's not a single one. So earlier I will already I showed you like especially for example. If you consider here. So these are the types of incidents like incidents, tickets, task, service request, change request, demands, RFCs, CDs, DCs, service catalogs, problems and business requirement. So these are all the different different types of incidents. So we need to handle how we will handle and how we will know. So with the help of the mediator is ticketing tool. So generally in market we have different different types of ticketing tools like solution manager 7.2. So this ticketing tool uh, completely owned by the SAP. It means SAP own ticketing tool and later remedy for service now Tosca, Zira, AWS, HPL. So we have number of ticketing tools. Ticketing tool is nothing but the mediator between user and consultants. It means this is the mediator between business and IT and before moving into support project. Generally in implementation, we have this phases like uh, prepare fit analysis design, build configure test cut over go live and once go live we have one more activity. So this is also very, very important in real time. So generally some of the organizations they are called as PGLS like a post go live support issues and some of the organizations they are called as hyper care. So what does it mean? Generally once we completed our implementation, so we need to give some initial support to the project. It means a 15 days, one month, two months or three months. So whatever implementation project consultants are working. So those consultants only will give support to the uh, the initial support to the project. Generally, these activities we are called as PGLS and hypercare, and this is also very, very important. Once PGLS and hypercare is completed, later our project will be handled to the support team. So now the support uh, project will comes into picture. So already e points are good. I'm gonna discuss this at the same time in support project, we have different different types of pro support projects like application support, production support, uh, global support and what are the different different areas already we discussed here. 
and the next one is upgrade project upgrade project is not nothing but we have to upgrade from one version to another version so at that time so simply we are called as this upgrade project and mostly there is no heavy and uh, there is no heavy work in uh, consultants point of view why because just we are updating just we are upgrading our old version to new, new version but uh, some of the uh, areas like for example so if you are moving the new version so we have some new features and new functionalities will comes into picture so those new features and new functions whether the system is correctly working or not we need to test so for those activities maybe sometimes you are part of upgrade project also you need to work so that is the upgrade project and conversion project is nothing but simply this is also similar to migration project like we are converting our data from ecc to sap s4 hana or uh, we are converting our database from old database to new database like uh, uh, oracle db to hana database and the last one is very very important uh, project is enhancement project and this enhancement project is also part of implementation and as well as support also so adi ela anedi already earlier class lo manam brief ga discuss cheskunnam okay so this point is very very important uh, before uh, we learn the sap s4 ana so what are the different types of projects once you uh, become a so sap fico consultant you need to work off any of of this projects so generally ga meer em anukuntaru ante so real time ante we have only two projects so implementation and support project untundi implementation is nothing but we are implementing sap and support ante daily we are getting tickets and incidents so those we can handle an anukuntaru uh, that's not correct so here in real time we have this n number of projects we have okay and that too once you selected for any organization so based on uh, organization requirement uh, they will push to you any one of these teams or projects and you have to handle your uh, roles and responsibilities and that too so i am very clear ga cheppan earlier classes lo your role and responsibility is not depends upon your types of projects in one project we have n number of teams so already man aa point kuda brief ga discuss chesa so one project lo we have different different teams for example meer implementation project chusukunte in implementation project we have different different types of teams like business team or business requirement gathering team design team or build team config build and configuration team and testing team or data migration team mdg team so likewise we have different different types of teams so meeru ardham cheskovalsina point enti ante once meer select ayinappudu meer implementation project lo unnappudu on that implementation project on which project on which team you need to perform your work so based on team your work and your roles and responsibilities will be designed so already a point in earlier cheppanu so akada mano so at that time we are briefly discuss about the teams different different types of teams so these are the teams earlier i showed you okay so we have different different types of teams and that too in organization as a consultant we have uh, this types of settings based on your organization like generally initial uh, the stage will be trainee or intern or associate or junior consultant or senior associate or senior consultant or senior consultant or consultant lead consultant team lead manager senior manager and other place solution architect lead uh, lead architect and end to end analyst so these are all types of different different types of roles and where it comes to uh, business side end user super user and process associate so ila n number of roles anedi manaku untayi and that too uh, depends upon your uh, designation so your roles and responsibilities will also uh, differ and that too ikkada manam edaithe chupichamo different teams in it ani basis team cham team design team requirements gathering team build team application support production support data migration business integration customization so ela different different teams untai in each project lo 
సో అలా మీరు గనక చూసుకుంటే బేస్డ్ ఆన్ యువర్ టీమ్ అండ్ బేస్డ్ అపాన్ యువర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ యువర్ రోల్స్ అండ్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ విల్ బీ డిఫర్ సో ఈ పాయింట్స్ అన్నీ కూడా ఎర్లియర్ మనం ఆల్రెడీ కవర్ చేసాం సో లైక్ వైజ్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ అండ్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ మెథరాలజీస్ అండ్ హియర్ ఇన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ మెథరాలజీస్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వై వీఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఎన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్స్ ఎట్ ఏ టైమ్ ఇన్ ఎస్ఏపి ఎస్ ఫోర్ హనా సో ఆ డిఫరెన్స్ కూడా ఎర్లియర్ మనం చెప్పాం జనరల్లీ ఇన్ ఈసీసీ సో దిస్ ఈస్ సిమిలర్ టు వాటర్ ఫాల్ మెథరాలజీ వాటర్ ఫాల్ మెథరాలజీ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వీఆర్ సీయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ first of all we can analyze and later we can design and we can implement and testing and finally our project will move to maintenance it means go live and uh, it's very clear and it's very easy to work with ecc projects why because so once the phase is completed later or later only our project will move to second phase and once the second phase completed and later our project will move to third phase and this is a very easy uh, way of uh, working environment but where it comes to sap s4 hana so sap s4 hana right now we are using the activate methodology and that to this activate methodology is very familiar and similar with agile methodology and what are the difficulties while we are working with agile methodology so these are the difficulties agile is nothing but sprints and as well as releases for example while we are working so we need to work the sprints wise and the releases wise so already earlier nen mix system lo chupichanu clear ga enti ante so at a time we need to perform n number of works generally by using agile methodology and by using activate methodology so manu sap ni implement chese tappudu first of all we have to split our organization into different sprints or different releases like release 1 release 2 and release 3 and release 4 and each releases we are targeting 5 to 10 countries or 5 to 10 company codes or 20 company codes or whatever it is as per the business requirement and that to the difficulty is these sprints are continuously going on going on and that to at a time we need to work two or three sprints or two or three releases so that's the reason in real time so while we are working in implementation project and especially the sap s4 hana so you are getting a work from the implementation and as well as the support and as well as sometimes the testing activities and sometimes you are getting some data migration activities also so e reason in already earlier classes lo cheppanu at the same time man real time lo work chese tappudu so man only oka project lone kaadu we need to work with two or three projects at a time ani kuda manam cheppam and that is the main difference between sap ecc to sap s4 hana so later we can move to the complete exact methodologies which is related to sap so basically in sap ecc the methodology we are called as asap it means accelerated sap methodology and here we have these types of phases like project preparation business blueprint realization and final preparation and finally go live and these are the phases available exists in ecc asap methodology at the time of implementation and where it comes to sap s4 hana we are using activate methodology and activate methodology is very similar to agile methodology so in activate methodology we have this types of phases like discover prepare explore realize deploy and run and earlier already we discussed uh, these are all points and that to the discover phase is nothing but simply we need to understand and we need to know the sap s4 ana what are the new functionalities and what are the reports and what are the application side and these are all points just we can understand the sap and the sap will provides to the trail cloud system also if we are okay with sap s4 hana the business is okay to convert to sap s4 hana the sap so will provide one trail cloud system also so in that trail cloud system so we can trail our uh, sap uh, our uh, business applications and we can check our reports and as well as our different different areas of working we can 